Enter all, welcome back to Dark Souls 2. So last time we took out the old Dragon Slayer, and good lord, did he kick my ass again and again and again. Now we have 20k souls, I'm kind of tempted to use them to level up, however, I do recall there was a ring that we could buy that was fairly expensive, but I'm pretty damn sure it was under 20k, that would allow us to take less fall damage, so hopefully we can buy that now and then go in the giant spot to pin the ground. Now, maybe that's a bad idea, maybe we're not supposed to go down there right now, but screw it, we're gonna do it anyway. Oh, who are you again? <laughs> no, I'm not serious. You do have a rather pleasant scent. The type I'm quite fond of. <laughs> Creepy! Okay, now, I'm pretty damn sure it was like, yeah, 13.4 frickin' thousand. It's most of our souls, but screw it, like I say, you never know, there might be some amazing booty down there, there's probably an entire section, maybe it's just booty, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, we'll go with that. Satisfied? I'll be around if you ever come back. Oh, I'll be back, baby, I need the other rings. Plus, you're the only person in this entire land that's shown any sexual interest in me, which is very, very sad. Right now, hopefully, because uh, apparently someone told me if you take your armor off, you take less damage. I'm hoping I don't also have to do that, because I may still splat here. Please don't die. Holy shit, I nearly died, but the point is I didn't, and we got a Radiant Life Gem. Nice, I have no idea what that actually does. I assume it's just a more potent Life Gem. And we get a Ferris, lo Ferris Lockstone. I keep calling them, uh... Lodestones, but oh jeez, but it's a lodestone. Right, we're gonna heal the hell up because there's no way we're making it down there without dying. And we're gonna run a jump, and please don't die. Okay, we're gonna be fine. Holy shit, did we take a lot of damage there. Now here's the question, can I make it to that ledge down there without healing? I feel like maybe, but you know what, it's not worth the risk, so uh, we're just gonna chuck another rest of this. I'm hoping and kind of expecting there's gonna be another bonfire down here. Yeah, we would have lived. There's probably gonna be another bonfire down here, so our Estus Wasted shouldn't really matter. We could go down there right now, but let's hope there's a bonfire here so we can test it safely, or kind of safely. Hey, there is. We're in the Grave of Saints, apparently. Cool. Yeah, like that shit. Okay, now what we could do, we could teleport back to Medulla and use the uh, nearly 7k souls that we have to get maybe one level up, probably no more than that. Which I'm tempted to do, but also I'm a lazy man. This is why I don't, this is what my one complaint about the game. I can't remember if I mentioned this, but uh, there's a ladder there, interesting. I don't think I can run a jump to that, because uh, there's a bunch of, like, wooden bars in the way. Ugh, screw it, we're gonna try it. Oh, damn it. That sucks. Well, we can go grab our soul, so... We only lost a little tiny bit of max HP, but it doesn't really matter. But, uh, yeah. It's the one complaint I have so far, the fact that you have to go back to Medulla to level up with that chick every damn time. I get it was like that in Demon's Souls, and it's kind of a throwback, but really all it does is waste time, because instead of just being able to level up here, I have to teleport away and come back again, which... Where's the benefit to that? There is none, it's just a waste of time, so... Yeah, I'm not really keen on that, I'm sure Demon Souls players, or at least most of them, probably kinda like that, cause it's a throwback, but like I say, me personally, I just find it like a waste of time. Oh, hey buddy, you're, uh, you're moving. <laughs> what do you mean impossible? I... I don't trust this fella that he's not gonna try and attack me, but at the same time he's not attacking me, so I feel like maybe he's a friendly NPC, but... He's almost certainly not, so we're gonna leave him for now, but he'll probably ambush me, oh god! Don't do that, he'll probably ambush me from behind. Right. I feel like, yeah, there's another one here, so it's gotta be an enemy, so, uh, you, sir, you can die. Really, that wasn't a backstab. Whatever, man, right. Uh, yeah, let's go back and see if this other fella's moved. He hasn't, but you can die anyway, because, uh, I really don't trust you. Okay, now, hopefully that wasn't a bad idea. I don't see that it would be, but uh, maybe they're like the hollows at the beginning of uh, Dark Souls 1, where they're passive, but you can attack them anyway. I really don't know, and there are rats. Well, shit, time to retreat. And I'm guessing from the sounds of things, yeah, there's more over there. Well, shit, and they're, uh, they look all poisoning and Oh, God, yeah, that poison is all right. Hey, you red bastards. Well, you know, I can miss you completely. Oh, shit! Okay, no, 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 no. Damn it! <laughs> Took one freaking hit and then I was screwed. Okay, so apparently the rats are nothing to be messed with. I mean, I guess they were kind of dangerous in the first game, but like, damn. That was ridiculous. It looks like they do poisoning now. What I've been told, and I don't really know yet because we haven't been poisoned thus far, at least I don't think so, but apparently poison in this game is about as dangerous as toxic, and toxic is way worse. I think the only real advantage is that they don't last as long as they did in uh, Dark Souls 1, because I think they were like five minutes or something, so probably die a lot quicker, but hopefully won't last as long, sir. 
Yeah, I don't really want to get poisoned because that will almost certainly mean my death because I don't think we've got any anti poison stuff and even if we do, the chance of me being able to pull that out in the middle of a fight is extremely unlikely, so yeah, gotta be very careful. Okay, the ones on the left are coming now. Hopefully I'll only aggro those because that will make my life a lot now. God damn it. Stay. Oh shit. I was really hoping the whole boat would give me a range of my I mean, I'm sure it does, but still freaking miss. Don't die. Don't die to rats again and stop missing them, god damn it. Okay, just one more. Now, as long as we don't die this one. Thank you. Now, I'm almost certain there's at least one more. Yeah, there's one more rat. There might be more. I really don't know. Damn, the spinning attack, man, it's really handy, but there's so many tight corridors that it's really hard. Oh, shit, you're alive. How the hell are you alive? That's some bullshit. But yeah, the spinning attack on the, uh, the whole bird, really handy, but there's so many tight corridors and doorways and stuff, it always seems to bounce off the wall. And then it just destroys my stamina and leaves me open for attacks, too. Yeah, beware of Dark Spirit. Okay. That's one thing I've noticed, I haven't actually been invaded, not even once yet, so. There you go. Now we get some booty. Yoink, a large soul of a nameless soldier. And there's more booty in the middle, but I don't see a way to get in there unless we can climb up through that hole or something, because, uh... Yeah, I don't actually see an entrance. Is there anything we can do in this rat hole? Yeah. Okay, well, screw it, I guess we're going this way, because... I don't see anywhere else we can go right now. And I don't trust this large open area. A bunch of rats are going to ambush me, aren't they? Or something worse. Hello? Hey, oh, there's a zombie fella. And we can put a lockstone here. Yes, yeah, screw it, let's do it. This may be a really bad idea. It might be the only one we have, but whatever. Oh, God. Okay, it's not good. I am very low on HP, and I... Oh, shit. This ain't, this ain't good. Don't fall off the... I knew you were going to fall off the damn edge. If you came down the staircase, you would have made my life a lot easier. Please, God, don't die to the rats again. This is unacceptable. Okay, we get, we're going to retreat for now, because I really kind of need to heal. Okay, some of them are backed off. Thank you. Okay, I think we're going to be okay. I, I really don't want to die to the rats again. <laughs> I die way too much. Especially last episode, holy shit. I am not looking forward to editing that. Okay, and they're back in the hole, which may be a good thing, honestly, because it means we can take them out one at a time. Now, hopefully no more ambush me from behind, because I'm kind of worried about that. Are you dead? Yes, you are. Fantastic. Right, so we can go down there, and it looked like there was another pathway next to the zombie filler. Right, well, I guess we'll check back there first, and it looks like we can also drop over this edge, but, uh... That may be- ah, oh, there's another lockstone thing. Well, shit. It looks like there's another pathway over there, but that may just lead to my death. Or maybe there's a secret booty down there or something I really don't know. Nope, there's no entrance there. That's where I came from. I came from the hood, yo. Right, what do we get? A small, smooth, and silky stone. Cool, no idea what the hell that does. I, wait a minute, I remember- well, I may be wrong- yeah, that looks like death to me. We ain't going down there. Anyway, I remember the, uh, bird, whatever the hell it's called, the one that sounded like Snuggly with a nest. It said it wanted something smooth and silky. At least I think so. So, maybe we give those to the nest and then we get something in return. Maybe you can drop random crap in the nest like in the first game, or maybe you can only use those. Maybe you can't use those whatsoever and I'm making that shit up, but, uh, that's my assumption because I remember them mentioning that, so. Yeah, what makes all good? What makes sense to me? I don't like the look of this. Hey. God, I love that attack so much. Right, that fella dropped something and I kind of want it now. Poison Moss. Handy. Very, very freaking handy. Come here, buddy. What the hell are you doing? Oh, shit, I hit the statue, but we're okay. Now, there's probably another one behind me, so if you could die, sir, there's a lot of blood here. There is way too much blood here for a couple of rats. I don't trust this. Yeah. <laughs> That was some comical freaking timing. I knew something was going to happen there, so I'm guessing the whole bunch of them are going to keep falling down. And I just noticed there's even more of those lockstone thingies on the wall, so... Yeah, maybe when you activate... Well, assumably when you activate all of them, you get some kind of reward, or maybe it makes the game harder. Maybe a bunch of rats drop down and kill you. Maybe it's just a trap. I really don't freaking know, but uh, right now we can't even do the damn thing, because we're out of lockstones already, so... There you go, and we should switch back to the Koran 3 ring, whatever the hell it's called, because, uh... We may need the cat ring at some point, but if we do, we can hopefully equip that in time. But for now, the extra stamina recovery will be extremely frickin' handy. And this looks like a trap to me. Oh, with bones? And yes, there are rats in there. Okay, and they are not moving. Now, why are they not moving? The hell is going on? We can't break that to get to them, and there's no damn way we can roll under that, so... Yeah, clearly that's some kind of an ambush. Maybe it's when I run all the way back again, then they're gonna pop out on me, cuz... Yeah, they're definitely up to something. I'm watching you. Yeah, I freaking knew it. Okay. Well, we're gonna be careful here, cuz there are three of them. Aha! 
gonna love that shit. Wait a minute, is there even poison they're inflicting on me? Cause that don't look like a poison symbol to me. That looks like a stone as if they're like gonna petrify me or something, but yeah, maybe that's what they're gonna do, but that I it doesn't look like a poison symbol, so. That's got me even more concerned now, because if they do petrify me, I'll probably frickin' insta die, so. Yeah, even more reason not to actually get beaten up by the I mean maybe it is poison, I really don't know, but I wanna risk that shit. Right, so I'm trying to think where else we can go besides obviously down there, but screw that quite frankly. I think there was another pathway... No, that's where we came from. Was it over here? Yeah, there's a fog wall right there. Well, shit. Okay, so can we go around on the right? Yes, we can. Okay. Right, so what the hell are we got? Oh, we found a bonfire. Nice. Okay, does that, and that leads us to the fog gate. I would be very surprised if that's a boss, because in true Dark Souls fashion, they normally do not put the bonfire anywhere near a boss, but... Uh, you never know, maybe they're being generous, but yeah, I would be very surprised. Did I just see? No, I thought I saw another pathway there, but no, I'm a blind son of a bitch. Okay, well, let's go. I would be happy if it is a boss, though. Um. Hey. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, so maybe it's like a mini boss or something, because it looks like we have to fight a whole bunch of rats. Unless I'm mistaken, there's a fog gate on the other end, so. Yeah, screw it. Let's get killing rats. Yeah, there's a fog gate there. Okay, well I guess this is a boss fight then, but, uh, seems very different. Maybe a boss is gonna pop up eventually, or maybe this is it, I really don't know, but... This is kinda scary, cause three rats butchered- oh god! Three rats kicked my ass before, but... We're doing okay so far, gotta keep my frickin' HP topped up though, if you could die- no, 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 It was very close, right, we gotta check the damage this. Okay, they seem kinda passive, which is a little bit strange to me, but... Whatever, we'll take advantage of it. Okay... We got like... Freaking! I swear they keep, yeah they keep coming. What the hell? How damn many rats are there? Yeah, this shit's got me worried now. There's a, there's a lot of rats and we're trapped in here and they just keep coming. Maybe it's just like a really long mini boss fight where you just have to kill all of them and eventually they're gonna stop. Or maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe there's some kind of soldier. Maybe there's some kind of secret here I have to do to stop them. Or so, I, I swear that run, one just ran away because uh, his ass was going back in the wall. Which frankly I'm okay with that. Right, we can't need to heal again, this may be- oh, it's kind of a waste, but if it keeps me alive, then it's nuts. Now, here's the- I swear they are still coming. What the hell? Oh, God, you do a lot of damage. Okay, no, 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 get away from me. How the hell did that miss? Okay, I'm dying here. Oh, shit. Royal Rat Vanguard, so here's the boss. Well, fantastic. And, uh, I- I don't see it. Hello? I- I'm expecting like a- oh, shit. I'm expecting like a humongous rat to just pop out the ceiling, but I don't see it right now. I oh Jesus! Well, rat healing items. Well, besides, uh, I, do we have any stones left? We might have a couple, but I don't really want to use them. But I guess I kind of have to. I don't know where this boss is. Maybe we have to kill all the existing rats, and then the boss has got. Wait, what? Oh, that one's got like a mohawk. I get it. That must be the boss. Ah, he must have been the one I saw drop down there uh, after the HP bar appeared. Now it makes more sense. But well, we're kind of screwed here, but screw it. Damn it. Okay, I kind of figured that was going to happen. Well, at least now we know what we're doing, so if I can actually get to uh, the Vanguard stage with a bit more HP, or at least something to heal with, we might stand a chance, but... Yeah, at least now we know what we're doing. I guess I'll cut out the beginning of the fight, assuming I have to do it again. I very much doubt it's like, uh... The better chaos where you get stages, I probably have to kill all those damn rats again. If I do, I'll just cut out the beginning bits, and we'll just start from the Vanguard. Okay, it went a lot- oh, you dick. It went a little bit with a sword, we're on the vanguard stage already, we're at half HP, which is a little bit better than we had before, and we have two Estus, and there he is right there. What's up, buddy? Yeah, he takes a lot of freaking damage, it looks like- oh, jeez, it looks like it's probably not that hard of a boss fight, I would imagine he hits- oh, god, oh, god, okay, we're alive. <laughs> I would imagine he hits really hard, so we're gonna have to be careful of that guy, and if we end up getting poisoned, like I say, it will probably just result in our death, so... Yeah, gotta be real careful. Now, I don't really think there's any point to be ki- oh shit. Any point to be killing the little fellas, they don't seem to drop anything, we don't really get any souls for that, and even if we do, not really worth the effort, but sometimes I'm gonna have to chop them down just to get- oh god. Sometimes I'm gonna have to chop them down to get to the guy, so. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Right now, I cannot find the son of a bitch, I have no idea where the hell he's gone. Get out of here, okay. Right, where's the- where's the vanguard? We are out of Estus. Well, that ain't good. I- I don't know where the hell he is and we're dying. God damn it, this really feels like this shouldn't be this damn hard. Where'd he go? I'm not kidding, I actually don't know where the hell he went. 
Oh, there he is. He's like right in front of me, guarded by like a million rats. Well, screw it. I guess we're trying to... Yeah, I... God damn it. You know, if I had some healing stones, that would be really handy. But all I have right now is my Estus. I know there was a merchant that was selling them by, uh... The bonfire of the forest to fall of fallen giants. We could go back and buy some. I think it was like 300 each. And really, I ain't got the souls to spend on that shit. I could go and grab my souls, bone back again, then go buy them. If we have to, we'll do that. But for now, we got to try and take it out just with the Estus, because... Even if we do buy those, I don't want to waste them because she only seems to have 10, so... Guess Gragas will try again with the damn whole bird. Okay, we're on the Vanguard stage. Yeah, change of freaking plan. We're out of Esther, so... We're going to use that Radiant Life Gem that we got, or at least we're going to get on the freaking bar, because... Oh, we do have one more Life Gem. Well, screw it, we're going with this for now, but let's try and get some damage off on the guy, because uh, he looks like he's open for attack. If we can get some damage off... Then we can heal up and we can decide if... Oh, shit. Damn it. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Why did you have to hit the statue? And they're all running away now. God, that's depressing. Okay. Round like four, I guess. God damn it. I got pinned in. <laughs> Why am I having so much damn trouble with this? It's just a bunch of rats. My god, I didn't even get to the Vanguard station. I don't think I was even close and I got pinned in by that guy. God, I suck. Really may just have to grab my souls and bomb back out, but we'll try again at least a couple more times, because holy shit. This is just shameful right now. Shameful to spray. Okay, only one more freaking Estus left, and you know what? I'm going to pop that right now, because I'm pretty damn sure the Vanguard can actually just do that in one hit, so... That would be extremely depressing. Now, I feel like I'm doing a bit better with a sword than I am with a hallbird, which don't make much sense, but whatever. Now, uh, shit. Yeah, I feel like that would kill me. And we're poisoned. Well, that ain't good. In fact, that's very, very... Yeah, I'm dying. I, I'm freaking dying. I, 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 God damn it. This really feels like it shouldn't be this hard, but he's kicking my ass. Oh my god, I cannot believe I am dying so damn much to a bunch of freaking rats. Half the time, I'm not even making it to the damn vanguard, and you know exactly the problem. One, the freaking Hallbird hits every statue in there. Two, the lock-on system, and I'm not just making excuses here. It keeps falling off. When I try to lock onto the vanguard, I go and attack the guy, and then it just falls off and I hit someone else entirely, and then he kills me or I just get mobbed, sir. So, you know what? Screw this shit. I got my souls. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Right now, hopefully we can do it quickly enough before one of the rats actually attacks me because there was no, 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 no. God damn it! Now I think we go and run over to this corner. We can do it. Get out of here. Go use our damn souls. Buy some healing gems. Maybe upgrade our weapon. I'm freaking no man, but screw that shit. Cause damn, I am doing awfully, and partially because of the lock-on system, but partially because we don't have enough healing things, and also partially because I suck. I don't deny that. Okay, now, before we go and blow all of our damn souls, we did get a, I think it's called an Old Knight Ultra Great Sword from the, you know, the giant sentinel guys that are in the area where we killed the Dragon Rider and the old Dragon Slayer. I'm gonna try upgrading that a couple of times as much as we can, and then we'll see how that works, because it's a giant Ultra Great Sword and we can't wield it, so I'm hoping it will have a massive arc on it, and we can take out a whole bunch of rats at once. Maybe that's wishful thinking, plus even if it does, I'll probably just hit the damn statues, so... This might be a really terrible idea, but hey, whatever, it's at least worth a try. Worst case scenario is it costs us a couple of thousand souls, which at this point in the game, yeah, it would be handy, but it's not the end of the world. You know, that's not even one level up, or at least if it is, it's barely so. Yeah, we're going to upgrade that bad boy, and then hopefully that'll make all the difference, because I really don't want to waste all my souls buying healing gems and shit. We can always buy them later, but right now it will cost us most of what we have, so yeah. Well, you know what, screw it. Let's, uh, we'll buy those. It's annoying that he doesn't have any more uh, Titan Shards than that, otherwise we could upgrade it more, but... Whatever, maybe his stock will replenish, or maybe it won't, I'm really not sure, but... We'll upgrade this bad boy for now, now hopefully, like I say, we will have a giant arc in it or something, but... I'm also kind of skeptical about that, but anyway, I'm going to give it a try with that, and uh, again, I'll cut out the phase before the Vanguard. Okay, finally we're on the Vanguard again, and you may be noticing that uh, I'm A, nearly dead, and B, not using that giant sword anymore, because the moveset on that thing is really, really bad. And it's got like a poke attack when you do the R2, and it never hits anything ever, so... Screw that shit! So, that was a waste of souls, but whatever, it really didn't cost us that many, but... 
Yeah, that thing is terrible. Just terrible. Also, I am terrible, so I may have to concede and go buy those damn uh, life gems even though I really don't want to. God damn it! This is actually pissing me off right now. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go take a break because this is pissing me off really badly and then we'll go by the life gems next time. This will probably end up being in the same episode, but holy shit, I've been at this for a really long time now. I need a break, so I'll be back in a second for you, but uh, for me, it's going to be quite some time. Okay, we're back and boy do I feel better, but uh, I'm sure it's not going to last very long. But yeah, I wasn't exaggerating when I say... Don't get me wrong, I'm real bad at that fight, but the fact that I have no life gems, that's kind of screwing me over, but the lock-on system, I'm not exaggerating, every time I lock onto the vanguard, and by the way, it's kind of hard to even do that, because it locks onto the other ones all the damn time, when you eventually get locked on him, and then you go running in for a charge attack or something, the, the lock-on either falls off entirely, or it locks onto a different rat, so your character just swings at mid-air, and then the vanguard just goes boom, and fucking kills you because you haven't hit the guy, so... Yeah, we got the life gems, we'll buy the lockstone as well, lodestone, whatever the damn thing's called. And I'm kind of tempted to buy firebombs and stuff, but we'll go with that for now. Okay, let's try this shit again. Now, I'm hoping since we have some life gems and we got some anti-poison moss, if I take my sweet ass time, be very, very tactical and very, very slow and calm and be methodical and use the life gems wisely and take my damn time, we should stand a good chance here. And assuming the lock-on system doesn't completely fuck me, but uh, it probably will at least a couple of times, but I think we stand a much better chance now. Gotta not waste these damn life gems, though. But once again, I'm gonna cut out the uh, face before the vanguard, and then hopefully we'll take this guy down in at least one or two turns, because damn, this is taking frickin' forever. <laughs> okay! We're on the vanguard, and I'm very nearly dead, and this is why we have Estus, but we still have... You know, eight life gems. It's not ten, but it's still enough that we can beat the guy comfortably, and I can't believe Estus only restored that much HP. That sucks. It's enough that we can... Really? You hit me? Really? We can be comfortably assuming shit like that doesn't happen, but, uh... Yeah, we gotta actually get to the guy. Now, don't get me wrong, I like the whole bird, but I feel like for this fight in particular, the sword is better mostly because that way it doesn't hit the statues all of the damn time. Right, now, uh, I don't actually... Shit. I don't actually know where the vanguard is, which is not a good thing. In fact, he's right there. Typically surrounded by a million rats. Now, this may take some time and I don't give a shit. I'm going to take my sweet time here. We are going to kill this guy, even if it kills me. Even if I die of old age, I don't give a shit. We are killing this guy right fucking now, because I've had enough of this shit. I, don't get me wrong. It's not that bad of a boss fight. It's not even that hard. And I know that seems ridiculous, because I've probably died to these guys more than anything else so far, but... It's a culmination of the fact that A, I suck, B, my weapon wasn't ideal, C, we had no life gems, and D, the freaking lock-on system, so, uh, yeah, I think if we at least had some life gems, we would have stood so much better a chance, so, I, I think we got a good chance now, but we really have to take our time, because if you rush, you're just going to get mobbed by all the other rats. I really need to get to this guy, I'll try to chip him away, but it is not working. Right, we're going in for the kill now, and I, I see him right there, and that's not a good position, but, uh, oh my god, really? Come here, you son of a bitch! Okay, he's he's kind of close. Right, lock, see what I mean with a freaking lock on? Just go on the right damn rats. No, 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 no. Don't get shit. Damn it. The other thing as well is if the Vanguard hits you even once, he does a lot of HP, but it will also poison you. Now, maybe we've got some better armor for poison resistance, but I really don't think so. See, yeah, what we have, he just poisoned me in one damn shot, and as you've seen, that uh, is basically like toxic in the old game, so it kills me incredibly quickly, so... You might be able to get out of the way and use an anti poison in time, but it's really freaking difficult with all the rats attacking you, and... Yeah, if you're even slightly low on HP in the first place, which usually you are, because the Vanguard does so much damage at the same time as poisoning you, you're probably going to die before you can even pop the moss, so... This guy is no joke. I mean, it's a little tiny rat, it shouldn't be that freaking hard, but no! He's kicking my ass. Plus, you got all the other guys doing that shit. And now we got a freaking heal. Okay, looks like we're going to be fine. There's one next to me, but oh! Damn it! Okay, we survived. I don't know how we survived, but we freaking survived. Still kind of on HP. Oh my god. Why? We are wasting so many life gems already. This has to be the run. If not this one, then the one afterwards. Otherwise, we're going to be out of life gems again. Okay, I see him over here. Da -da 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 -da. Right now, he's going for the freaking kill. Get out of here. Okay, we got some damage off. He's half dead. 
That's probably, in fact, I'm almost positive that's the best we've done so far. And that's very sad. I genuinely... <laughs> I'm not kidding. I genuinely cannot believe I'm having this much trouble with this guy. I Stop backing up, you son of a bitch! My god! This is so frustrating. You, you, I, I've honestly, I very rarely get angry, and at no point have I ever been angry in Dark Souls. Not, not Dark Souls 2 anyway, because, uh, yeah, I have a lot of patience, but this, this fire's really pissing me off. If I didn't have to worry about the lock-on system sucking so much balls, it would make my life so much easier. Because I'm having trouble with this in the first place, but with the lock-on system as well, like, holy shit. Okay, we're nearly dead, but the life gem is very, very slowly healing us. We can probably just about take one shot. No, 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 no. Okay, two-thirds down. Now, one good barrage, or maybe one good barrage and an extra hit, and we can take this guy. Yes, okay. Probably should have gone for that, sh that shot just then. I really panicked. Okay, no, 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 no. Right, one more good hit, and this guy's mine. And he is freaking surrounded by rats. Where the hell is he? Uh, oh, he's behind me. Okay. What are you doing in there? Come on out, buddy. You Really? Come on, man. What the hell? <laughs> this guy's a troll son of a bitch. Right, see him, and he's gonna die. <laughs> you have got to be fucking kidding me. That's exactly what I'm saying with the lock-on system. Swung at the guy, lock-on went to the other guy, and then I died. Oh, fuck you, game. Fuck you so much. I had him then. Lock-on system. God damn it. Okay, we're on the freaking Vanguard again. Now, this time we have one life gem and one freaking Estus. Do I think we stand a chance now? I think we're freaking screwed. I cannot believe this is the boss that's kicking my ass. At least we're getting better at dodging the guy. You can get off two shots and then you need to get the hell out of the way. Because, again, if he hits you once, you are basically fucked because of the poison. Okay, it's half dead already. Now, if we can get one more good barrage. No, 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 no. One more. Oh, shit. Damn, I thought he was dead, but we killed him. Now, heal, quickly. Okay. We're alive and the rats are leaving. Holy shit, we did it. Oh, my God. Thank <laughs> you, Jesus. Why was that so damn hard? My god of rats. The bane of my existence. Holy fucking hell. We did it. We finally did it. Oh god. Now, I kind of want to cry right now, but in relief. Okay, before we end the video, let's go back to Majula and speak to that chick whose name I still don't remember and get some damn level ups because... Otherwise, I'll end up running to another boss that I can't freaking kill and end up just losing the damn things and that don't seem like a good idea. Sick. Yes, yes, we've Let's all heard it all before. My god. Now, I think we'll get uh, uh, endurance because we need some more stamina because as you've seen, my stamina is absolutely awful. Like, even if we only get an extra 10%, which is basically what that is, that's 10% more. That's, that's something. It ain't much, but it's something. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like and I will see you next time for more Dark Souls 2.